This is All Simple Vlogs. Welcome to my channel and enjoy. Bye. Let's go to the kitchen and I will show you how to make a very quick and delicious banana bread. Especially, it's a gift for my bestie. Shout out to Pearl Caracas. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. Okay, let's get started. First, I will show you the ingredients. My banana bread, I use cake powder and as usual, gluten-free. I don't use those all-purpose flour or something like that. I go for cake powder. And these two big bananas. Cream cheese, the original one. 75 ml melted butter. I use unsalted butter. 375 ml warm milk. Where's my loaf dish to, you know, take the banana bread? My hand mixer. This is my bestie. Okay. Let's bake. First, I'm going to cut these bananas. You know, just cut it into a big chunk, not so big, a cube. Just adjust it, you know, it's kind of... Uh, okay. So you see just how you're supposed to cut these bananas. The same thing as a cream cheese, we need to cut it the same size or a little bit smaller. To have more flavor, I just want it to add a little of this not too much so this just you can taste the flavor of cream cheese and banana together like I said we need to cut this into small cubes all right, the cheese, the cream cheese is supposed to be like this, kind of size. Yeah, the same as this. Like this small. Okay. Let's do some mixing. This one I don't need it anymore. This one I don't need anymore. I just need a bowl. First, put the melted butter and then the warm milk.
Next is the cake powder. So pretty much all the ingredients together. just need to press it manually like this and uh, mix it has to be like this kind of consistency it's not so thick it's not so thin not so liquidy so just in case um, you're not satisfied with the consistency you can just add more of the powder right but to me this one is perfect so I need the spatula to mix the banana cubes and the cream cheese cubes and this one you gotta mix it very gently because you don't want to over mix it like that. We're done mixing it. Now we're ready to butter our loaf dish. See, just grab a paper towel and just spread butter in it inside there. We need to, to do this so it's easier to remove the bread inside the loaf dish. Alright, and I'm going to fill in my batter. Make sure just the right amount so it doesn't overflow and it will bake it evenly. You see it's even I don't want to overflow it right so this one is ready to go into the oven just put it in the center of the I use my convection oven it's okay I don't use my big one so I need to bake this uh, banana bread set it to bake 350 degrees in the timer it takes up to 51 minutes there you go and finally that is done okay I have to take it out from the oven and I'm going to slice it for us to box it Okay, so this is so uh, done. I will give you a closer look. I made a few slices of this a whole loaf of banana bread. That's how it looks like. You can see these um, cream cheese. Uh, cubes and some of the bananas too so you can actually taste the real taste and the flavor of the uh, cream cheese and bananas together I will put this in a box now so I have this put it aside and try 
to put in a box. <coughs> Hold from the other side and you just get and you grab it. There you go. So the whole loaf is in the box. I made a little note for Pearl, which just says, To Pearl and Joy from All Simple Vlogs. Right? Hmm. Just a simple note. I have this ribbon to just, you know, <laughs> get some ribbon in with this. Just to make it fancy, you know, real fancy. Okay, I finished ribbon there. I finished putting the ribbon and then I will just put my note in here. And this is ready to deliver to my bestie, Pearl. There you go, and I will just going to attach my simple note here. And banana bread is ready to deliver to my bestie Pearl.